Hi there, welcome back to Sunnyside Journals. I'm Catherine. I have another little bit of work to do on Mr. Rogers. We're making them pretty. So uh, the last video, we, uh, which was for me, <laughs> was half an hour ago, but most likely it's going to be like a day in between, depending on how long uh, it takes for YouTube to let me up upload these. Um, we were putting in lace, laces and rickracks uh, along the edge. I really want this book to be bright and colorful and cheerful and just lots of bold, bright colors. So, and I've done that. I've put, uh, I rated all the rickrack I had. <laughs> I went through my bags and, um, yeah, I, I just wanted a little bit of lace so that when it's closed, you know, that looks pretty. But uh, for the inside pages, I really mostly wanted to rack. I do have a few little trims that I've put in. So you'll see here that uh, I didn't put rickrack on any of the story pages. They're thinner. These ones are a little uh, sad and tired. They're from 1975. So I thought, well, I'll let them have a break. And the newer papers can uh, take up the torch and, and, and do this. So some of the rickrack... I ran right along the edge so that you can still see it from the other side. And you'll notice some of the rickrack I put in a little bit further in, just for a little variety, for a little difference. And I didn't do it on every single page, otherwise this book would be like way, way, way too bulky. So uh, this one's a little trim that I have. I found it at one of my thrift stores, but I've since learned that... Um, it's from a line of crafting supplies that you can get, uh, at least where I am uh, in, in Canada, uh, we have a store called Dollarama. And uh, this one and this one back here when we get to it, um, the, it's, a, it's a craft line that they sell little crafty things there. So that's where I got that. There's some purple rickrack and here you can see I set it back a little bit. Um, just for a little variety for the eye and lots of bright colors I love this blue these blue tulips I think that looks pretty some yellow uh, black on the pink I think that looks really nice pink on the turquoise and then this is the the eyelet lace that I finally decided to go with for the center of the book some purple on the green. Again, I, I sent it, I put it back a bit rather than putting it right on the edge. Oh, 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 are you, there we go, thank you. Oh, some baby blue. I like this one with the, the pink and white and blue all together. I think that looks pretty. And then some rainbow rickrack. I mean, come on, who doesn't like that? That's beautiful. And then this one I just put over on this side, a little bit of orange on the brown. I still have my little tags here. Helps me make sure that I've got balance in my signatures. That way I can know, like I usually like to put one pocket per signature so I can just find one, two, and three and, and make sure I've got a pocket in there. Those are usually the last things to come out. So purple on the blue looks nice. Oh, some more of the little, these little tulips. I like the yellow on the pink. I put some black on this really nice green. Oh, some more of the red again. And I put that on um, the yellow. And then there's that last little bit of lace that we put uh, on the second last page because I didn't want to glue it onto the storybook page and then I put uh, rainbow on the inside of this red one and I think that uh, I think that looks great and now I want to just put a few little I'm not going to over decorate uh, this book I want the next owner to enjoy decorating it and do as they wish so I'm mostly just going to put in some pockets and then when I uh, list it in my Etsy shop, I will be including lots of um, tags and that blank tags uh, so the next owner can, um, can be the artist. So I think I want to start this opening page 
uh, I have this. I, I went through, I actually went through my invitation box. I got a box that's just full of invitations. And uh, I love this one because it says love makes the world go round. And it's just a whole bunch of uh, wonderfully different colored people on the earth. So I want to find a way to make a pocket. Right, I'm trying to decide whether to put the pocket here or whether to tuck the pocket there. And when you open it up, there it is. Love makes the world go round. But part of me really wants to put it there because then it could still just... Well, let's let's get this taken apart and then I can decide later. So it's, uh, I think this was a Valentine, not an invitation. Yeah, happy hearts day. <laughs> and it needs to fold. I don't want to fold. Maybe once I have it um, separated, then I can better sort of envision what it is I want to, what I want to do with this. I think I do. I think I like this different layering, but I think I want to round the corners and then I'm going to glue it three sided and that way I'll just use this. Oh, here, I'll use this as an example. And that way it could be a little hidden tuck spot back there like that. So I th think, I think that's what I want to do. Now, where is, do I want to use a big corner or I'm going to start with the little corner. You can always go bigger, but you can't go smaller. I like that. All right. I want to see how high up to bring the, the glue. I'm going to give it a generous amount. Um, just I can foresee this pocket doing quite a bit of uh, in and out work. So I'm doing uh, I'm doing a little bit wider than usual spread of glue. And then I think I think I'm gonna go right there. I think that looks nice. Now, do I have, sorry if I made you jiggle, I don't think I have any pretty colors in my pre, whenever I have pieces, just the right size pieces of cardstock, I run them through my tag punch, and that way I have an envelope ready to go, but I don't have any in a pretty color, so hold on, because I have off cuts. I've got off cuts from making those pages. Hold on, I got lots of off cuts. So let's see. Well, I don't want to use purple because that's already purple. I think I want pink. Let's make. Oh, I think I intended that to go in, but then I didn't go with it. All right. Oh, well. Let me move this. And I think I want two and a half inches. So just some nice, bold, bright colors. Oh, you know what? I'll put the fold end in. I want two tags. I've just got one of these tag punches. So if I put two in, then I get two out. Beautiful. 
and we'll put one somewhere else but I don't have any pockets yet so we'll put you there for now oh that looks cute I I really I'm going to try and stick to my own rule here you know that's hard for me but I really do think I want to keep it this bold and this simple um, and no distress ink I want bright clean crisp happy colors okay so that's a pocket there let's go to the second and put a pocket in I think I want to put a pocket on this side where's a rock um I have a few more of these invitations oh that looks nice I like this one and it's got a little rainbow up there so I like that home is where your heart is bless this nest isn't that sweet so uh, I think it's from back when you used to actually send out a we've moved um, a little we've moved notice to your friends and family Alrighty, hold on. Let's uh, let's make another pocket, shall we? Easy way to do that eh? using these invitations, and I find again, I find these all the time at my thrift stores. So if I go there, I think I want to round that with the big round corner like that so that that can be a pocket yeah I think I want to use and I don't use these very often um, these are really bright colored distress inks I, I uh, as you know I love these makeup sponges for distress inking uh, but I don't like to mix my ink colors um, so the G side is for green and of course the B side is for blue and I'm going to use blue and I think I'm going to go around the edge and just use a little so I said no distress ink and what am I doing I'm distress inking but I'm not making I'm not using it to make it look old I'm making it to actually make it pop wait till you see isn't that pretty and I think that's going to look pretty with this blue pa facing page I don't use these often enough but usually the journals I'm working on I'm trying to make things look old and this time I'm not so out come the bright colors I have used the red and greens in Christmas journals nice that gives the edge of it a little more definition makes it look a little bit less like I've cut up an invitation to <laughs> makes it look like this is what it was originally intended to be that looks nice I might blend that a little bit more into it especially because those are clouds give it a little bit more blue yeah all right like that get out my glue and again i'm going to do a two-sided pocket and i'm going to um, make the glue part the strip of glue a little bit wider just so it's a little bit uh, sturdier so happy with this journal it's just cheering my heart up during these these trying times this little journal is just uh, a little ray of sunshine that looks nice 
Actually, that blue looks nice because uh, the tulips are peeking out over the side there. Okay, so number three. Let's give you a pocket number three. Um, now, do I want to put the pocket on this shorter page or do I want to put the pocket? I think I want to put the pocket here. So, uh, now I've got a choice here. Um, I have this cute thing. It looks like it's a, um, a postcard, but it's an invitation or no. Oh, it's a, uh, it's a happy birthday notice, but it's a postcard. It looks like it's for like a Sunday school teacher to send out to their all students. I remember I used to do that. Send a little birthday card in the mail. Um, or I have Horton Hears a Who. Make every who shout, make every who holler. Because a who is uh, a who, no matter how small, how big or how small, right? It goes like that somehow. Um, I think I want to do that. Not sure I want the who hollering there. And I got out where to put them. I have a decision to make whether I want the who hollering there or whether I just want Horton and the and the fellow. Let's um that little who. <laughs> Let's first get this. Removed from the back. There we go. So people who if you watch my videos often enough, you'll know, you'll remember that I flip things over. That little lip drives me crazy from my cutter. But this is one of those situations where I don't worry about it because I'm going to be gluing this down face first. And uh, so I don't care. You know what? Hmm. I was thinking I was going to put one of these. I've got these stickers from one of my... One of my escapades and I was thinking I would put a sticker over top of the who hollering there because it's black and white and bright but I'm thinking actually the pocket doesn't have to be that big and I think I can just cut that off so that it's Horton and the little uh, his little flower that has Whoville on it and this guy I think I can just take that right off. And then it'll actually be a better size. Yes. All right. Decision made. Yes. Now I've got to figure out. Oh, you probably didn't see the last time I made that cut. I apologize. <sighs> there we go. So if I put you there, hold on. Yeah, that's okay. I wonder if I can tuck you under a little bit under that rickrack. Yes, I can. Hmm. I wonder if that's what I want to do. That's a cute pocket. But maybe pocket doesn't have to go there. Pocket could go over here. I think I like it better over here. Then it's not competing with that beautiful purple rickrack. I like that better. All right, now I want to round that. Yep. There we go. Yeah, so because uh, this, cur this side is going to be facing, permanently facing that page, I'm not worried in the least about that little edge that my cutter leaves. So I don't go over it with a bone folder to 
flatten it out. It's not a big deal. Now, I don't want to get glue. If some of the glue squeezes out, I don't want to get it onto that back page. Nice. So that's another. Put that there for now. I may change the color out. I do that. If the color's not, I'm not enjoying the color, I'll change it out. Now I may still want to put a pocket closer to the back. No. Nope. Nope. Although that tiger does look like um, Daniel Tiger. Nope. I want it to here. Now I don't want this happy birthday thing, so we're going to have to doctor this too. Okay. So. I had to pause for a second. My sweetie pie uh, popped in here so uh i'm going to i want to cover up the happy birthday <laughs> so i'm going to use some purple since that already is purple they obviously chose purple for a reason so who am i to question that and i'm going to i want to give it new corners now, how big am I going to need this? I actually want it a little bit. Where's a pencil? I don't want it so big. No. Right. So we were painting the front of the house today. Oh boy, that's getting hard for an old girl of her in her sixties. But you know what? I don't uh, for what it would cost for a painter to do it. I can paint still, and it's good for me. I got out in the fresh air. It was just the white trim around the garage and around the. Um, we have a post on our porch that uh, needed freshening up. The last time we did it was when we moved in. Um, six years ago, we downsized. We had a big house because we had a big family. We still had, we still had a whole bunch of kids with us when we, when we uh, got married. Um, we still had two of mine at home and two of his at home. And then we had a few extras thrown in <laughs> for good measure. Um, so, so we needed that big house for a little while. But when they started buying houses, they moved away because they could afford get a better house for their value, for their money, pardon me, um, further out of Toronto. Very expensive to live in Toronto. Um even though we weren't in Toronto, but we were just on the outskirts of Toronto. And yeah, that's going to be good. Um, and they all moved out to our little town. And we sort of thought, well, <laughs> I guess I know where we're moving to. If we want to see the grandchildren, we better uh, hightail it out to this town. And we're really, really lucky that the seven of our seven children... Five of them live here in town, and the other two are really only about 20 minutes away. They're in the next town over, and then about two towns over. So, you know what? That's uh, what a lovely thing to, uh, to have them so close by. 
now with this pandemic it's not as a, we've been sort of doing driveway visits fortunately the weather's nice so you can do driveway visits it wasn't so easy when uh, at the beginning of the pandemic when it was still winter time february and march okay hold on there we go where's my rock i brought these rocks in i was doing some work and i needed some rocks and i've ended up actually enjoying having the rocks now i wonder if i want to put you there or i wonder if i want to curve hmm I think I want to make it just a little bit smaller. It just feels a little too big for my liking. I'm just going to take a little bit off the sides and off the bottom. Don't worry, I'm not going to cut that lion's tail. That would hurt. Just wanted that brought in a little bit. I do want these. I do want these rounded. Yep, I like that better. Now, I think I'm going to bring that pocket up and over that lace edge there and just put it there. Maybe I'll put a word snippet on there. Yes. All right, so I'm going to be gluing onto fabric and I find this doesn't do as good a job as Fabri-Tac. In that case, it'll glue, but if I got Fabri-Tac, why not use it, right? Oh, my alarm's going to go off any second. Well, at least we got the pockets put in, right? a cobweb. Come on. Oh, where did my tweezers go? There we go. Come on. You probably can't see what I'm going after here. The glue left a cobweb. There we go. Got it. And I didn't want the cobweb to be just enough glue that it might try and glue this pocket down. Okay. Hold on, I'm just gonna put that under there in case some of the glue squeezes out. There, that's cute. Now I know we've got time to pick out a word snippet before I run out of time. We have to. All right, where are you? Come on, Santa Claus. There we go. Well, I want something happy. Let's see. I like that one right away. They felt like old friends. Um, hmm. Being neighborly, that's cute. Hmm. <laughs> oh, the other puppy. No, not you. Oh, and there goes my timer. There we go. Um, 
making fools of themselves. That might be cute. They sh we have shared many good times often. Hmm. Hmm. I wish I could find one that was friends. Oh, they felt like old friends. There we go. All right. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. As my mom used to say. All right, and you know what? <laughs> I'm breaking my rule again. Let's get out the distress ink, but it's not brown, so it doesn't count. Now let's see how am I for time. Oh boy, let me check and see. Oh rats, you know what? I'm going to have to post a photo because I'm worried this is going to cut me off before I can say goodbye and thank you for visiting with me. So goodbye. Thank you for visiting with me. I'm going to put this on there and then I'll post a photo and I'll put it on Instagram. Okay. Thanks. Bye everyone. Talk soon.